Franco Barbaroso taking on Darren Stewart. Franco Barbaroso minus 160 favorite comeback on Stewart plus 120. Uh, Franco Barbaroso shouldn't really be a favorite no. over very many people right, inside right. of the okay. UFC, to be perfectly honest. I don't know much about this Stewart guy. I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched very much tape. But just based on the fact that he's 7-0 and and has, you know, has beaten, I forget the name of the guy, but uh, beaten a tough guy at the Cage Warriors level, I would say if the price gets right, we, uh, we, may, take, we may take a little stab on uh, Darren the Dentist. Here. Yeah, I think this one's one of those cases that you're taking an unknown against a guy that's at least a proven commodity. I don't like betting on these unknowns. That's my issue. Yeah, and you know what? Not the worst thing in the world because I've seen guys come out from basically unknown. Look at that Look at that Mark Dia Casey, right? I was telling people, listen, Mark Dia Casey is like a little Paul Daly in the sense that he's got a whack load of power. I said he's like a Leon Edwards and a Paul Daly. He's got a whack load of power. He moves well. He's a guy that he's unheralded. But the way that he knocks guys out on the regional scene is something you got to need to open your eyes about. When you look at this kid, it's like, okay, you know what? The Stuart Austin kid, he, he, he's, or sorry, um, it was Darren Stewart. D- Darren Stewart. This Darren Stewart's not bad. Okay, he's young. He's got a cool little nickname. Get it? But the problem is, at five foot ten, he's one of the smaller guys at two hundred five pounds. Now, on top of that, he goes out there and he knocks out guys on the regional scene, but they're not really the same level of guys in the regional scene. We've seen with Mark Dia Casey. Mark Dia Casey was knocking out guys that were seven and zero. This guy's being guys like Bubakar Balde, who's eleven and nine. It's just not the same level. No. Now, when I think about Francis Barbarossa. I, I 100% think that there's a good shot at victory here if you're Darren Stewart, especially for plus money. I say that because look at that fight between Barroso and Hans Stringer, right? Hans Stringer is awful. He's actually cut now, and he's awful. And, and he's lost on the regional scene. He got knocked down on the regional scene the other day. We were watching that, right? Yeah, yeah. Who was it against? Um, I remember seeing it. Oh, well, local, yeah, you know what? Local Russian guy that's going to kill him either way. Yeah. But uh, he got so, Hans Stringer, not very good. Hans Stringer comes from that Muay Thai background. He's a Dutch guy, Dutch dog kickboxer. He's able to keep that fight standing with Barroso. And the thing with Barroso is that Barroso is not very technical. It's that he's a big body, and he's a BJJ black belt, and he's got some give to him. But he's always very, very unimpressive. And I say take that back to all the way into his UFC debut, okay? Because if you have, you know, some time to kill, go watch his UFC debut. And it's awful. He takes on Eduardo Oliveira, and it's just the worst time ever. And he gets that win. Then he loses to Hans Stringer. Then the fight with Ryan Gimo, Paul. That was the worst fight ever. He kicked the guy in the balls. Kicked him in the beans, and Jimmo, rest his soul, didn't didn't want to quit. But like that was Most maybe the worst kick to the beans I've ever oh, seen. They in gave my him life. A, they gave him a bucket because he was like, oh, oh, I'm gonna. And they're like, oh my god, he's gonna throw up. And yeah. listen, I've been hit in the balls before. That's how I feel. I feel like I need a bucket. I'm about to throw up right now. So I feel Jimmo's pain. But that was the worst fight ever. Then against Elvis Mutopchich. Elvis Mutopchich is not even a tool of fiber. He's a small guy. And then against Krylov. He gassed so hard. Now, the thing is, is that those fights are going 15 Mutopchitz minutes. Mutopchitz took that on like a week's notice. Yeah, and, and those fights go 15 minutes. So it's easy to be like, oh, he can go the distance. He can't. It's that his opponent does nothing over the course of 15 minutes to push him. Krylov's a guy that pushes. And so when he's pushed, he tired so fast. The guy's a BJJ black belt. He was basically like, Here, here's my neck. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, it's not even secured yet? Oh, well, I'll just tap now. It's like, wow, this guy wanted out of that fight. But a lot of that was how fatigued he was. So I think about this spot, and I think to myself, I've seen him struggle against kickboxers who are a lot faster than him. Against Darren Stewart, Darren Stewart's going to be faster than him, and he's going to be a better striker than him. So he's going to pose the guy problems. But a 5'10", and a guy that weighed in for his last fight at 202 pounds, I think that he's very he's much... He's probably a 185-pounder. He's very much a middleweight. Him I don't have his reach yet, but I imagine he's not very big. He's like 5'10". 202 pounds in his last fight. Yeah, he's 185 pounds. He definitely seems like, yeah, they don't have a listed uh, reach for him by no means. But yeah, at 5'10", weighing at 202, I think he's not really cutting the weight. He's a 185er. Now, well, we, we've seen Barroso. Where was the only fight that really, I mean, he earned it? Was against Mutopchich, a 185er. So the only path to victory he has is use that size mm-hmm. and use that size to tire a guy down. But... I think this is a spot that I haven't been taking a whole lot of dogs. I need a dog with a shot. I look at Darren Stewart and I think to myself, he's not traveling a crazy distance to get here. He's a smaller guy, which means if he's not cutting the weight, it's not likely to tire as much. He's going to be faster. So use that speed to get the fight to the second round. Now Bros is not even going to shoot takedowns anymore because he's going to be tired. And you put this guy out. So I think the kid's got a shot, to be honest with you.